Hello, this is Vern, and if you've ever found yourself in a situation where you feel you found your soulmate, you feel you found this amazing man who resonates with you, and you feel this intense emotion of love, but he happens to start doing things that are incredibly painful and destructive, and you can't break free from him because in your heart you feel he's your soulmate, you are in luck because we're going to talk about love addictions today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and we're going to be talking about love addictions. If you find that you found your soulmate, but you feel so much intense pain in your heart sometimes around the way he acts towards you, he's abusive, he's not someone that, that you can feel you can really trust, that so you have to be really jealous of him all the time, uh, but you really feel like he's your soulmate you may be facing a love addiction. So I'm gonna give you some clear signals for you to understand and recognize that this is not love, but it's something else, okay? The first signal is you fixate on a guy as your soulmate despite the intense amounts of pain that you experience. The level of pain you experience and the amount of pain you experience is high, but you still think this guy is your soulmate, so you basically take a lot more than you should out of the name, in the name of love, right? So if the guy is being physically, emotionally, verbally abusive to you, he may not be your soulmate, most likely he's not. But if you feel like you have such an intense chemistry with him that you can't leave him, that's the first clear sign that you're facing a love addiction. Second sign is that you um, isolate yourself from others and you lose yourself in the relationship, which means you stop connecting with your friends, you stop connecting with your family members, you really focus on this human being, and you cater to their needs, his needs, more than you cater to yours. So if you stop doing shit that matters to you, and now the things he wants to do, and his opinion, and his voice, and his ideas, and his time is more important, it becomes unbalanced, but you feel like you're giving so much, and it feels so good to give because he's your soulmate, you may be facing a love addiction. Our relationship, based out of love, has an even distribution of giving and taking. If you're simply giving, and the guy is receiving, He's not your soulmate, my friend. He's someone who's just taking from you. The third sign that you're facing a love addiction is you start attaching mythical and magical properties to this human being. This guy, here's the thing. When you face intense amount of, an intense amount of pain and at the same time, simultaneously you're experiencing an intense amount of neediness towards the guy and you feel like he completes you and he's such an amazing guy and you felt so much chemistry and you feel so understood by him, but you have the other side as well, uh, that's, that's a very dangerous place to be in. Because whenever that starts happening, you start attaching magical qualities to this guy to justify the fact that you're with him. Because how can you be with someone who's abusive unless he has this great power and insight to connect with you the way no, no one else has connected with you? You start making up shit in your mind that feels real, but it's not really real, okay? As long, as much as it feels the case, it's not. The fourth sign that you're facing a love addiction is that you create a very dependent relationship with this human being. That means that if you feel like if this guy were to leave, you would die. That if he were to go away or sleep with another woman, you'd be completely destroyed. You have feelings of wanting to die or wanting to kill yourself or something if, if a guy were to be unfaithful to you. Here's the thing. If you feel like you, have, you can't live with a, without a human being and you can't function properly, and this guy really completes you, even though he's all those things, he's not neglecting you sometimes, and he's painful towards you sometimes, and he's, and he's abusive sometimes, then uh, you're in trouble right now. So here's what to do next, basically. Number one thing I challenge you to do, if you find yourself in a situation, you answer yes to more than one of these questions, or one of them at least, I want you to start noticing that this feels like love, and it has the intensity of love, but it's not really love. Love can't take place when you're not loving yourself. Love can take place when you're not honoring your worth and your value. So that's the first sign that you are in love addiction. So the second one is you need to get out of that relationship, move away from this as soon as possible. And you can do that sometimes on your own. You have to seek out help. So seek out a coach, seek out a therapist, seek out a friend who really loves you and understands you and is not gonna let you stay, but say, I need help. And then the next one would be go out and do things that really matter to you again. Do more of the things that make your heart feel alive. Exercise more, move with more passion, take more consistent action, reconnect to some of the things that you love. Even though at the beginning it's hard, you need to start doing, taking massive action to get out of this hole that you've dug yourself in. It's not easy, but it's completely doable. So uh, if this resonates with you, I'm going to record another video that has more answers on how to overcome a love addiction. But right now, the first thing is recognize it, move away from it, and take massive action. If this is helpful to you, I know that you're going to find my video series 
how to make a man feel crazy about you in a healthy way, not in a shitty way, uh, subscribe to the link below and you'll get this free video series in your inbox. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, just click like on my video, subscribe to my video channel, and also leave a comment below. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you, and I challenge you, as always, to live a full and a conscious life.